Hi guys, this is Miss Ayers. This video is about annotated bibliography. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, let's talk about the requirements for the annotated bibliography. You need properly formatted bibliographic citations for every source. So use the handout I gave you in class for that, and if you don't have that handout, it is available on the portal in the resources section and the research project folder. Um, these should be alphabetized, double-spaced, hanging indents, all that stuff. Also take some care in assembling the bibliographic citations because first of all, if you do that well, uh, you'll do well on this assignment, at least that section of the assignment. More importantly, if you do this well and you do it carefully, you'll basically have the last page of your research paper drafted and nearly ready to go. That would be a huge accomplishment to have at the end of this assignment. Beneath each citation, you'll also have a precy, which is a paragraph that will give a quick summary of the source and maybe some speculation on how you think you'll use it or you might use it. Uh, do yourself a favor and do not copy and paste the abstract of the source. Actually, um, write, your, write your own summary. <laughs> and the last requirement is to have 10 sources for the annotated bibliography. That's going to be more than you'll need for the final draft of the research paper, but at this stage in research, you should have more sources than you need. If you finish a research project and you didn't use everything you had, you probably did it right. Um, that's my daughter and my dog you hear in the background. This is a common question. Are resources like easybib.com or the citation provided by the database okay to use for the annotated bibliography or the works cited page for the final draft of the research paper? Well, the answer to that question is, it depends. If you put in a little bit of work and elbow grease, those resources might be fine. I bet I just surprised you with that answer. The thing with easybib.com is it's only as smart as you let it be. So if you just plug in a web address and see what it spits out, I'm not going to be able to track your resource. Um, but if you go through all the steps in EasyBib and plug in author name, article name, publication name, database name, you know, issue, volume number, uh, year of publication, pages, all that stuff. If you do that, it'll spit out everything in more or less the right order. So, you know, I, I can't guarantee that those, that those resources will do what you want them to do, but they're not bad if you do a little bit of work at the front end. Now, having said that, I think it's just as easy to follow the format of the handout I gave you, you know, because this requires some real precision. Uh, the database citations are usually pretty good, except they're not double-spaced and they don't do hanging indents. So make sure you take care of that. You don't want your annotated bibliography to look like a copy and paste job. Okay, guys, um, I think that covers it. I hope, uh, well, I was going to say I hope this is a fun assignment for you, but I know it won't be. Well, good luck with everything, and let me know if you have any questions.